Tare Pogacar destroyed his competition in last weekend's Strade Bianca. Let's take a look at how exactly he managed to pull it off. To understand why it was possible what Pogacar did on Saturday, it's important to look at the route of the Strade Bianca, which was increased with a whopping 30 kilometers, making it a total of 215 kilometers for this year's event. 70 kilometers out of these 215 are gravel sections. This is important because it's of course harder to ride on gravel than it is on asphalt, causing the Strade Bianca to be on average significantly slower than other classic races. The key takeaways here are that you have less of a draft advantage when the average speed is lower. And on top of that, you often have to drive more carefully since in a group there's a bigger chance of crashing. This makes the Strade perhaps one of the best races to go for an early breakaway, and UAE knew this. From the start, they put on an excruciating pace, reducing the peloton to only a very small group of riders. And then, when Tim Wellens steps on the gas, UAE's plan all comes together. Pogacar looks around here and sees not only a very strung out peloton, but also a solo riding Sepp Kuz from Visma, who is definitely not their team's captain for today. And Pogacar decides to strike. He looks behind him once more and attacks on the left side of the road. Very importantly here, Tim Wellens is going to make this move to block Sepp Kuz from catching on to Pogacar's wheel. This only gives Pogacar a 1 or 2 meter advantage, but in the end this is enough to make Sepp Kuz say Hey, I'm not chasing after the strongest rider in the world right here, I'm gonna wait for my own teammates. And that's really all there was to it. Just a small escape from Pogacar and there was no way of catching him anymore. A big part of his success here is that most of the riders in the group behind him did not have any teammates around them. We see Maxime van Geels here, who rode an excellent race, not attacking, but just looking behind him if anyone at all can follow him, which wasn't the case. The pace was just way too hard from the start and Pogacar profited from this expertly. He built his lead from 1 minute to 2 minutes to over 3 minutes as he entered Siena for the final kilometer to secure what was perhaps the most dominant victory in cycling that I have ever seen. What an amazing ride by UAE and by Tade Pogacar. And how lucky are we to have an entire season of cycling ahead of us.